Sipa Mandla, thank you. So the, the news is as bad as many economists had predicted. Indeed, it was to be expected. Our viewers would recall that due to COVID-19 and the extended hard lockdown, this was to be extended. The economy has taken a knock. But let me not waste too much of your time because we've got the man here who deals with the numbers. Let's just get straight to him. Statistician General, thank you very much for time. Very depressing news. What do you attribute this to? I hope we're keeping the safe dis distance for starters. Indeed. Uh, well, certainly the COVID-19 lockdown in different stages that we have seen sustaining in this quarter did have an impact in the economy. Uh, there was always an expectation, and I was asked this question many times, including by yourselves in the media, and I kept on saying, let us go and measure and we'll come back. And we can see that all uh, sectors, with an exception of agriculture, have gone on a negative growth and certainly uh, COVID-19 had an impact. You can even look at imports and exports. Uh, some countries had started their lockdown uh, prior to ours, and you can see that showing in all facets of the economy. Mm -hmm. And it's not a, 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 a case of South Africa alone, but all over the world you can see the economy of uh, Brazil has gone on a slump. You can see the economy of China while it went to sustain itself on a growth. Mm -hmm. and, and we're looking at the, um, um, other countries. It has always been the same. Four quarters in a row of contraction. Surely we need a miracle to get out of this ditch. How do we get out of it? It's not the job of the statistician general or any statistician in official practice as Pamandla to have to suggest how we go out of this. Once these numbers are made uh, available to the public through yourselves as media houses, policy makers as well as business leaders have to converge and uh, work together and address the process going forward. But one thing that I can say is that this is the first time since 1993 that we have seen our economy going on a negative growth for four quarters in a row. Previously, uh, as in your 1991, 1992, we have seen uh, eight quarters of a sustained negative growth. It's not surprising when it comes to agriculture as a sector or as an industry, because during the lockdown, obviously, food production was crucial. Is that the only reason agriculture was able to basically grow? Agriculture benefited a lot from good rains, and as you can uh, see in all areas, animal production, horticulture, as well as field crops, they have certainly uh, uh, grown in the positive. But uh, the agriculture didn't only grow, uh, benefit from the demand in terms of uh, uh, what we have seen in the, in the field, but it also benefited uh, certainly from good rains. Give us the numbers in terms of alcohol and cigarettes. I saw you projecting those statistics there. We will unpack them, but how did that go? Certainly, if you look at um, um, alcohol and cigarettes, um, uh, alcoholic beverages generally and cigarettes, they've gone in the negative of about 76%. And uh, if you look at the uh, restaurants and uh, 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 related uh, facilities, they've also gone out uh, in the negative of about 76%. So you, they are related. And uh, the fact that all these facilities were not available for services uh, to the public and, and consumption then even went down. Even from the side, uh, I mean, when you look at it uh, from the side of uh, 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 the expenditure, because that's where we actually unpack them, they have uh, all gone in the negative and they've contributed quite uh, strongly in the negative as well. Manufacturing, trade, transportation, as well as mining, where they had a hit. Certainly, if you look at manufacturing, you look at mining, you also look at uh, uh, transport, for example, in relation to land transport and other transport, they were impacted. It's because uh, during the, the lockdown, everything had come to stand still. I'm told that I need to let you go, but before I do that, your office, your organization is under-resourced. You are struggling with funding. Does that, in a way, affect these statistics and the numbers that you compile? Do you have enough resources financially and human resources? For starters, we would never make a, a number public ourselves as statisticians and, and, and particularly, let's just say, uh, if we are not solid on it. So once we're satisfied, we will make that number available and uh, to the public. We should be the first ones to say this number is not going out. Mm -hmm. Now, in this regard, there is no doubt that uh, the funding challenge for let's just say remains an issue, as we know from 
October 2016, we haven't hired a single person. But uh, you will have seen in recent times, uh, as recent as last weekend, that we have uh, 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 advertised for critical posts that uh, uh, we need to fill as of now an agent. But uh, um, other than that, the whole issue of operational budgets, if we do not have sufficient budgets, there will be challenges in our products uh, in the future in terms of how regular we make them available, as well as the uh, declining samples uh, that we need to manage quite tightly. But as of now, Stetsa say is in business in all eternity. Okay, Baba, thank you very much for time. We'll have to let you go, unfortunately. Well, there you have it from the man who's basically released these depressing numbers about the state of the economy in South Africa. But I must say, it was to be expected, bearing in mind the impact of COVID-19 as well as the lockdown in the country. As we take it back to you, Tula Sizo in studio. Yeah.